So, you've discerned that God is calling you to be a Catholic hipster. Well, in order to be a Catholic hipster, here are three objects that you must acquire. You must have an item that has a quote about coffee and Jesus. Exhibit A. A must-have is a water bottle with stickers on stickers of all the religious things you've done or attended. Take a look at mine. Mine has an avocado on it, too. And of course, every Catholic hipster has a guitar with a colorful strap on it. Bonus points if you can play the song, Lord, I Need You, because we all know that's a classic. So before you go and buy all of those things, I have something very important to tell you. God is not calling you to be a Catholic hipster. Check your discernment, okay? I'm not meaning to be harsh, but I just want this to be clear, and mostly for myself, because I need to learn this, that God is not calling you to be a Catholic hipster. God is calling you to be holy. Today, it seems like a lot of young adult Catholics are, who are missionaries and who are really holy have certain things and do certain things. They wear chacos. They play a guitar. They listen to cool music. So sometimes we think like that's what we need to do in order to be holy. But we're flipping things around. Really, first and foremost, we're called to holiness. And then we express that in a certain way. There's two things at play here, identity and expression. But I think we're flipping them. An ordered way of how it would be is first and foremost, knowing our identity is called to be holy, to be a daughter of God, to be a son of God. We're called to holiness. And when we accept that call and we're living and breathing in it, we express it in a certain way. For some of us, that might be praising God in music, in praise and worship. That might mean that it's such a part of your life that it goes onto your social media because you can't help but proclaim it to the world. And that's a very ordered way of that happening. First and foremost, identity, and from identity comes expression. But we're flipping that around oftentimes where we think in order to be holy, to get towards our identity, we first have to put on certain things. We first have to wear chacos. We first have to do all of the cool Catholic hipster things in order to be holy, but that's not how it goes. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus says, why are you anxious about your clothing? Are you concerned about the way that you look, especially because you're trying to look a certain hipster Catholic way? Why are you anxious about that? God's not calling you to be cool which should be a relief for all of us because a lot of us are not cool. But really, in reality, our sole focus should be on Jesus, not comparing ourselves to others. And yes, we should express our holiness in everyday life. Yes, people should know we're Catholic, but by the way that we live and breathe the Holy Spirit, by the way that we pray, by the way that we treat others, by the way that we're disciplined, this is how they will know that we are Christians. By the way that we love, not by the way that we look.